Hi everyone, I'm Hannah Levinson, producer of From the Back of the Line. And I'm Toby Shearer, the film's director. So after only 72 hours, your contributions to this Indiegogo campaign have surpassed our initial $3,000 fundraising goal. It's amazing. The outpouring of love and positive responses that this project has generated are more than we could have ever imagined. The support for From the Back of the Line and the immigrant community of Charlotte has been truly remarkable. We've received incredibly generous contributions from 48 different financial partners and a massive amount of people sharing the campaign with their friends and families all over Facebook, Twitter, emails, blogs. When we first considered turning to crowdfunding for help in financing this project, we didn't imagine that the response would be so great, so generous, and so moving. Thank you all so much for your incredible support of this film. With the uh, 27 days left on the campaign, we're going to continue our fundraising efforts. Every additional dollar that we raise will be used to further highlight and share the stories of Charlotte families impacted by immigration policies with as many people as possible. Uh, please keep up with the campaign and uh, continue to share it with your friends, your family, and your community. Uh, spread the word, expand on the dialogue, and add your voice to this important conversation. Thank you once again for your interest in From the Back of the Line, for your support of Charlotte's immigrant community, and for your contribution to this dialogue. We look forward to updating you on our progress, and please be sure to join us at the film's premiere on May 3rd. Thank you very much. Think of a story about a group of people who leave everything they know behind and travel to a distant country to build a better life for themselves and their families, to create a future for their children. They arrive in the millions, but they're not wanted. They live in fear of the government, taking whatever jobs they can find. They're thrown in jail, separated from their families, deported. Their children grow up without parents, struggling for an education. And yet somehow, this life is better than what they left behind. Now look around you, because this story is happening right outside your door.